Welcome. I'm reading today for you from Psalm 107, and this is the final verse. It reads, Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. With those words, he's summing up what he has talked about in the previous 40 verses. He takes a, a walk through the history of the people of God, and he speaks to them about how people in all sorts of different circumstances would call out to the Lord, especially in times of trouble, and that he would deliver them, that he would come to their aid. And so he invites us in this final verse to attend to these things, that is, to consider the steadfast love of the Lord. It's good for us, in other words, to take time every day to reflect, to think about God who he is, what he has done, how he has gotten us out of difficult circumstances, how he daily provides us with everything that we need. And the psalm writer, psalm writer says that it is wise for us to do this. It is wise for us to, to develop the habit, to take time every day to sit and think about all that God has done for us. Why is it good for us to do that? Because it is a reminder to our heart and soul of who we are and who God is in relation to us, that we are his creation, his creatures, and that we have nothing and we can do nothing without him, and that he is good, he is loving, he takes care of us, he's kind to us, and it is good for our souls, it is wise for us to consider such things. And especially that it is wise for us to consider how he is taking care of our greatest of needs. That God, knowing that we are rebellious people, people who sin and fall short of the glory of God, and that in his grace and compassion for us, he called his son Jesus Christ who entered the world for us. Jesus suffered and died in payment for our sins and for our rebellion. And he came back to life so that we would be people who would not be destined to destruction and separation from God, but so that we would be people who always lived with him, that he would be our God, that we would be his people forever. It's good for us to hear these things, to ponder all that God has done, and to thank him for it. And so we do that now. Our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the ways that you provide for us day in and day out. Thank you especially that you have come to our aid in bringing us forgiveness through your death and through your resurrection, you bring us a new life, life that lasts forever in your presence. We are grateful for this, Lord, and we pray in your name. Amen. Blessings to you.